Today is the culmination of our 40 days of prayer and fasting. I want to thank all of our pastors, our staff, our daily prayer leaders, our Monday night prayer team, and all of our Charisma Life Church prayer warriors who have joined us from the very beginning of this prayer movement. Throughout the ages, there have been seasons of drought spiritually in the world. During such seasons, there rises a true longing and waiting for the only true living water that will quench the thirst of many nations. This living water comes through the Holy Spirit being poured out in grace. As followers of Christ Jesus, it is vital to pray for this pouring out of Spirit again, inviting God to revive the nations as He has done before. Uh, friends, at the beginning of this year, Elaine and I decided to visit Bonnie Bray House in Los Angeles. Now, some of you may not recognize this name, but this simple house in the heart of Filipino town was the nexus of the Pentecostal movement. It all started with William J. Seymour, a black Bible school student who attended a seminary in Texas. Because of segregation, he was not allowed to sit inside the classroom, and so he listened to the lectures and the, on the halls and the steps of the seminary. In 1906, a church plant invited him to come over to Los Angeles. It took him several weeks to find a place to start a church, and the Lord brought him to Bonnie Bray. And it all started with great meetings. These first gatherings were attended primarily by a few African-American washed women together with their husbands. But within a month, these humble prayer meetings had exploded. The Holy Spirit had begun to anoint this gathering and many people started to pray and sing in tongues. The exponential growth soon caused the group to move to a much larger building at 312 Sousa Street in downtown Los Angeles. This was the beginning of what became known as the Azusa Street Revival. People streamed to these meetings from all over America and eventually from all over the world to witness and be a part of these revival meetings. Many were saved, many were healed, and many renewed their passion to love God. And many more received strength and encouragement to continue to live their lives in holiness. This movement didn't just stay within the four walls of the Azusa Street Mission Building. Within nine months, many missionaries were already being sent throughout the west coast of the United States and missionaries departed for Africa. Just two years after the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in 1906, missionaries commissioned in the Azusa Street Mission could be found in many parts of the world like Mexico, Canada, Western Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Central and Eastern Europe, and even Northern Russia. Amazing! In over a hundred years, what happened in that ordinary house has become a phenomenon called the Pentecostal movement. An estimated 35,000 people joined the Pentecostal church each day. And all over the world, it is estimated that there are 500 million Pentecostal Christians in just 117 years. Friends, today, God continues to answer to our prayers and revival is possible if we pray. The Word of God says in Acts 1.8, But you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the world. Friends, let us continue to pray that God will pour out His Holy Spirit to our lives and to our church. Today may be the last day of our prayer movement, but this is just the beginning of a greater hunger that the Lord will continue to pour out His Holy Spirit in our lives, in our church, and even in the different churches. Join with me and let us pray that God will pour out His Spirit in our church. Father God, I thank You for our pastors. I thank You, Lord, for our leaders. I thank You, Lord, for our prayer our warriors who have joined us in this 40-day prayer and fasting movement. Lord, what a blessing to really feel in a tangible way what you are doing in answer to our prayers. God, as we conclude today our uh, prayer uh, movement, Lord, truly this is just the beginning of more prayer in our church. Lord, I pray today 
that you will pour out your Holy Spirit in our church. May we hunger you, Lord. May we ask you, Lord, that you will come to us. You said to your disciples and, and your followers, do not leave Jerusalem until they are clothed and endued with the power of the Holy Spirit. God, I pray from the youngest among us, Lord, to the most advanced in years, may we have the thirst and a desire we are thankful, Lord, that Charisma Life Church is part of, of, of the many uh, Pentecostal denominations in the whole world, particularly the largest one, which is the Assemblies of God. And now I pray, God, that what began in 1906, Lord, will continue to be uh, uh, seen and experienced in many of our churches, beginning, Lord, in our lives. So, Father, we commit to you, Lord, and we pray that in our life groups, in our church worship services, Lord, we will feel and we will experience, Lord, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit one more time. And so we surrender everything to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us, friends. I just want to thank you for your commitment in praying for us every day and also every Monday for our corporate prayer meeting. The Lord bless you. And see you next time.